and welcome back to another video so today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the woman rig for Roblox in a blender 2.8 I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments and I haven't really been able to explain it so now I have a tutorial for you guys that I can show you exactly how I do it so you guys can make your own GFX with the woman rig now if this is the first video you are seeing by me or one of the first tutorials you've seen by me I recommend you watch watch my Blender 2.8 tutorial first. And in that video, I show you guys how to use a rig and all those things. But in this video, I'm only going to be showing you guys how to download the woman rig and how to add the textures and that's it. So now we are going to be downloading the woman rig and I will show you guys where to download that and then I'll show you guys how to get the textures and all those things. So for the first step, as always, we are going to be making a folder. Now let's just make a folder on our desktop titled tutorial. That's usually what I call it for my tutorials, but make sure you have a folder. These are very useful to have. And we are going to be going to our web browser. Now you need to open up YouTube and we are going to be using this video to download our woman rig. It looks like this and you can find it by looking up Roblox woman rig blender or I will have this video linked in the description box down below so you can find it. So on this video we are going to be going down in the description and it has download right at the top. We are going to click that link and it'll take us to the download and we are going to be going right here and clicking this big green download button so we are just going to click that and it should just take you to where you can download we are going to save it to our folder so here we are on the desktop we're going to go to our folder we made at the beginning and then just hit save Okay, so after it downloads, you can just X out that tab and X out your web browser. And we are going to be going to our folder now. And now we are going to have this and this is going to be a zip folder. What you need to do is just double click it to open it and it'll have a couple folders in here. We are going to open the rig folder and then it'll have the rig right here. You're just gonna take that out and drag it onto your desktop like that. And then what you need to do is go back to your tutorial folder right here where we saved it. You can hit delete on that. So we are going to delete this zip folder and drag in this blender file that we just got. So you can just name this whatever you want or keep the name if you like it. I'm just going to name it woman rig so I can find it easier and let's just open it up and see if everything's correct so we should open it up and have the woman rig on blender all right awesome and now something you need to do really quick because i know a couple people had this problem is that if you do not change this setting then it'll save all your renders with a black background instead of a transparent background and that's not good that's not what we want so you're going to go over on the right right here i'll expand it so you can see it a little bit better you're going to go to these tabs on the right and we are going to go to the one that looks like this it has a little printer icon and we are going to go down to output you may need to open it up but that's right here you're going to go to file format and open that up and select png and then you are going to select right here at color rgba click that and then what we are going to do is go to the top left corner file and select save so now those settings should be saved so now whenever you render it you should have a transparent background if you select transparent so the next step we need to do is go over to roblox studio so we can just x out a blender for now and we'll reopen that later but i need to show you guys how to save your characters on roblox studio so they looked correct in Blender. Because this rig works a little bit differently, we're going to have to save our character a little differently. So you're just going to open your base plate. If you watched my previous tutorial, you should know pretty much how this already works. Like I said before, if you have not seen my Blender 2.8 tutorial, please check it out in the info card in the top right corner because it'll help you a lot with this tutorial. So we're just going to open a base plate 
and go up to our plugins and open our load character. We're gonna click that and type in the username of the character you want to render. So I'm gonna use my friend's Roblox character, Nina. So we're just gonna load her in and select spawn R6. So we are going to need to download two different things. We are going to need to download her texture and we are going to need to download her hat. So what we need to do is first go over to your Explorer on the right. If your Explorer is not here and your Roblox Studio looks like this, all you need to do is go to the top, select View, and then select Explorer. All right, so we are going to find Nina over here or whatever character you loaded and we're gonna click the little arrow to open everything up. So first we are going to download her texture. So what we need to do is delete the head and all the hats. All the hats have this little blue icon right here that look like a magic hat, so we're just going to delete every single one of those. And it also includes all accessories, just like that. So now she has no accessories and it's just Nina. Now we are also going to delete her head and we only have the texture. Now we can right click Nina on the right side. We are going to go down to export selection and then save it into the folder we made. So let's go to the desktop tutorial and then save it as texture you can save it as anything you want but I just recommend making it something you'll remember now we are going to delete this so you just click it and hit the delete key on your keyboard just like that and we are going to reload Nina so we're just gonna do the exact same thing we did before open our load character type in Nina Roblox or whatever character you are using and now we are going to delete everything but the hats and her head so we are going to delete the humanoid root part left arm left leg right arm right leg torso okay so now we only have the hats and her head so what we are going to do is export again we are going to right click her on the right side go down to export selection and now before we export her we are going to need to make another folder because sometimes blender will kind of mix up the textures at least in my experience so what you want to do is go to your tutorial folder and then when you are here you're going to right click new folder and name this one accessories or something you'll remember this is just what i name it so once you have your accessories folder open that up and then as your file name save it as accessories and save and now we have everything we need from roblox studio so you can just x that out you don't have to save it and we are going to go back into blender so open up your woman rig again and now i will show you guys how to add the textures so first thing you want to do is delete this head because this head has like face pieces on it it has teeth it has eyes most people don't really render with that kind of stuff so we're going to be removing it so what you need to do is hit b on your keyboard and use this little box tool to drag and select the head and everything you don't need so we are just going to select that sometimes it might select the rig we don't want all of these pieces to be lit up we only want the head to be lit up and the eyes and the teeth so i'm just going to try and select again so we don't select a rig see perfect and we are going to hit delete on our keyboard to get rid of that so now we are going to add in our textures so what you need to do to add in your textures is select the body part that you want to add the texture to so we will start with the torso go over to the right hand side and select this little circle and then we are going to add the texture here the first thing you want to do is go to where this little box is and hit the x you're just going to click that and then hit new we are going to go down to base color select the little circle next to it and select image texture and then finally we are going to hit open and find the texture so here it is in our tutorial folder i will just show you guys so here's our desktop here's our tutorial folder and here is the texture we saved you're just going to click that and it'll add the texture to your character so we are just going to repeat the same process for every body part so now we will select the arm and here we are again hit the little x click new go down to base color and select the little circle go to image texture open and then select our texture and that is pretty much it sometimes you have to double click it to get it to open <laughs> okay so i'm just going to add the texture to every other body piece and i will be right back all right so now that we added the texture to every single body piece now we need to add the head and accessories so what you want to do is go up to file in the top left corner 
go down and select import and you are going to select wavefront.obj. Click that and then you are going to go to your accessories folder. You're going to open that up and then open up your accessories.obj. Double click that to open it and it'll open them up. They may look a little bit messed up and they may be the wrong way, but we will fix that. So the first thing you want to do is go up to edit, go down to operator search, click that and then type in origin and you want to select set origin. Click that and select origin to geometry. And what that'll do is just put the arrow in the center of this model. So we are going to select rotate on the left and use the little blue one to rotate it to the right spot so she's facing the right direction. And then we will use the move tool to move her to the proper spot. So we're just gonna move her head like that. Make sure it's all right and centered just like this. You just wanna kinda go on every side and make sure it's centered. And there we go. And finally, as you can see, the textures are kind of messed up. So we are going to click on the head and go over here to the texture tab. Again, it is this little checkered circle. And on every single texture, we are just going to exit out and fix it so it is the right texture. So up here at the top, as you can see, here are all the textures. We are just gonna start with the first one, hit the X, hit new, and then go to the little circle next to base color, image texture, open. You're going to open your accessories folder and just select the first texture on the list. You're gonna click that and there we go. As you can see, now the tail is fixed. It doesn't look all weird. And you are just going to repeat that for every texture on the top tab. So as you can see, we're just gonna click the second texture on the list right here. We are going to hit the X, new, base color. We're gonna select a little circle, just like this, image, open and then accessories folder and select the second one on the list. So we're just going to open that and then we will do that for the last one. So select the final texture, X, new, select the little circle, image texture, open, accessories folder and then select the third texture on the list. And you may have to repeat this a couple more times if you have a lot of accessories, but it is the same thing overall. So if you are, of course, on the third texture, then you're going to select the third one and all those things. It is the same process over and over until you've done all of them. So that is pretty much how you set up the woman rig. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Like I said before, this is kind of just a short tutorial. And if you want to know how to render your Roblox character, check out my Blender 2.8 tutorial. I'll have it linked, like I said, in the info card in the top right corner. Because other than this, pretty much the same process applies. It's just a different rig. So if this video helped you guys out, please leave a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications whenever I post. I do Roblox GFX videos, GFX tutorials, and the live streams where you have a chance of winning your own GFX. So be sure to be subscribed and hit the bell so you do not miss any of those things. But anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out, and I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>